Oh, welcome to my place. Today is my day to solve issues that I've been having via my message system on the website. I've since had a request from somebody wanting to know, can you use fresh and artificial forms together? Yes, you can. So as you look at all of these beautiful green lush forms in front of you, can you tell which is fresh and which is artificial? You can't, and that's what I love about working with these new forms of artificial foliages. Right, I'm calling this winter greens. I did do it not so long ago on the Good Morning Show, and I was told by two or three viewers that I went too fast, so this is also to cover your needs. Right, into here, this time I have put some green floral foam and that has been soaked in water until the bubbles stop rising to the surface. The other thing I've done is I've done like a little score through here and through here like a little cross and that's just so that I've got some little pointers of where I'm going to go. Now I've got this lovely big lot of foliage and all I'm going to do is push that into there and if you've seen me working with artificial forms and putting them into the grey oasis you'll know how much difficult it is compared to what I've just done there. Right, the other thing is that don't forget to always make sure they've got some lovely contrasting forms. So I've got this lovely rounded form here be quite beside this lovely spider plant. So already we're starting to build this beautiful visual picture. Right, put that down into there. Oops, I've done it wrong way. To take that out of there and then I'm going to push that down into there so that I've got this hanging on this side and I've got it hanging on this side. Right, the next thing I wanted to use were some aurelia leaves. Now I've only got three of those but that's okay because I'll just push those down into there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer them down so that they sort of like cascade and also look like they're falling out of the urn. And we've got this lovely little wee plane of leaves on this side. And then this one, I'm going to put there, right into there like so, and I'll take it down. So you can see it's sort of like a bird's wing and there's like lovely little layers. And when I was doing my training, I was always told to leave enough space so that if a butterfly wanted to float through, it could sort of have an access and an access route. Right from there, I've got that leaf there. So now I'm going to bring another leaf and another texture down onto this side. These, it's just so beautiful, these forms. And you know, when you look at them, can you tell that they're not real? No, you can't. Okay, now I've got these lovely berries. And because I've got that lovely yellow over there, I thought that I would just like to put those into there so that they cascade down on that side. So I'm sort of kind of balancing the weight from this side to this side. Right, now have you guessed which is fresh and which is artificial yet? You can't tell, can you? That's what I love about this. Okay, so I've got this form here and I've got this color here. And when you look into this, they're all sort of like the same colorway. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring those and put those into there and this time instead of taking them all down I'm going to actually step and graduate those up into the center of my arrangement now the other thing that I'd like to do is to just take a few over the other side only because I feel like it and when you will also notice that with these lovely greens you can make the most beautiful beautiful picture just by bringing in all the different harmonies and colorways of well it's called actually a monochromatic harmony right from there I've got another couple of leaves so I'm going to put that into there and I'm going to take that just a little bit higher and then this one I'm going to bring down and over into there so I've got these lovely flat planes can you tell which is fresh and which is artificial yet no you can't isn't it fantastic right I've got some apples here I love green Granny Smith apples and I wished I had time because it's the most amazing story about how the Granny Smith actually was birthed. And I, but I'll have to wait for another day because I haven't got time to tell you today because we're doing flowers and answering questions. Right, what I'm doing with these, and I'm just taking those up into the centre of my arrangement, like so, push that into there, and then I'll bring that down into there. And when I turn it round, you can see, see what's happening here? We've got this lovely little graduation of nice round forms coming up to rest underneath that big leaf there. Right, I've got three of these. Aren't these just absolutely fantastic? Part of the Dianthus family. I really really wanted green 
carnations, but I couldn't get any. But I thought that these were quite nice. Right, so let's just cut those and let's take that up into there. I love green. Green is like balance and harmony and it just sets off any room. So I put one to there, one to there, and I'm just going to cut that a little bit shorter and put that down and into there. How easy was that? Did you get what was fresh and what was artificial? They are the only fresh forms. If I had some chrysanthemums, some green chrysanthemums, I could put those into there as well. And as I look back over the arrangements that I've done so far, looks like all I ever do is green. But I like green and if I'm going to do flowers, I might as well have them for myself and what I like. Well, I hope I have been of assistance. Thanks for calling and I will see you another day.